Hello there and welcome to Daniel's Infinite Playlist and today we're going to review a really uh, great new album from Swedish Danish uh, band Lost for Youth and the album is also called Lost for Youth and for those of you who don't know who Lost for Youth uh, are well they are a band um, that um, that are signed to the famed Sacred Bones label in in, in USA and Sacred Bones have actually had their eye on the Scandinavian music scene. I mean, they've even signed uh, other uh, Scandinavian acts such as Jenny Val, but uh, Lust for Youth is actually one of the more prominent acts on the label, and they've made themselves a, what do you say, a, um, a landmark and trademark sound for mining mostly 80s uh, synth pop a la new order but they've now with their newer releases ha have actually how do you say taking a, a lot more modern cues of dance music especially 90s and uh, eurobeat sounds and that's what uh, is even more amplified on this record but first of all how is it to listen to this album well listening to this album is mostly like this <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to show you the CD unboxing, and as you see, here's the album cover. I'm sorry that the CD is cracked, like when I ordered it from Amazon, it just came like this, and yeah, well, it bumps me out. But anyways, here's the album, and there you see, the, it's quite simple, it's qu kind of like their last album, uh, Compassion, that had Braille instead, instead of uh, text, and there you see there are all of the album's lyrics, and it's blue, it's very interesting, and it also came like with a sticker that said a landmark for Scandinavian uh, antidepressants, and yeah, I thought that was so funny, but <laughs> yeah, anyways, here's the, uh, the back, and then you see like the inside, it's very simple, it's the typical, you know, like, Sacred Bones, um, how do you say, design that they put on almost all, all of the albums. There you see the inside, there are uh, pictures, and then, you know, some, um, how do you say, uh, record, um, some record credits, and yeah, that's what you see here, so yeah. Anyways, back to the actual review. So, how is it to listen to this album? Well, this, al I mean, so how is this album uh, musically? Well, this album is very more danceable than their last album, which actually used more, how do you say, acoustic and more, how do you say, indie rock elements. Now, they've definitely stayed in the, you know, like, Eurobeat and very, how do you say, New Order-centric uh, path that they've actually mined out for themselves. And I really, really like this new sound. And you can see that it's kind of, um, how do you say, uh, it's kind of influenced by the departure of uh, third Lust for Youth member, Luke Rabeck, but now Lust for Youth are only Hannes Norvide and Malte Fischer, and um, you can see that they're definitely more into, you know, like the, um, how do you say, synths and, you know, like, uh, uh, more dancier beat, and I just really, really like it, and also one of the qualities of the album is, is that it's so crisply produced, is that you just want to listen to it, want, uh, I mean, over and over because it just has such a beautiful how do you say synthy landscape however there there is you know like a more acoustic tinged uh, how do you say uh, song which is fifth uh, terrace that's actually sung by Soho Resanejad who is also a Danish artist and she's great like she has been singing on Lost for Youth's albums, I mean, on their past um, two Lost for Youth uh, albums as well, and they've always been, like, standout tracks. And this one is also amazing, so yeah. So yeah, how is this album lyrically? Well, lyrically, this album deals with, like, a lot of topics. Like, some of them are with, for example, social unrest, um, especially uh, from the world. Like, why are we even... Um, treating our world like this and then there's also you know like the mundanity of life 
and how one can stand uh, for oneself and just be, how do you say, be one's own fabulous self. Like, the record can be seen as a bit nihilistic at times, but then you see that, uh, in fact, the record also mirrors, you know, like, all of these personal contradictions that I just really find uh, fascinating to just read, you know, like, from uh, and listen from the records inside. And Hannes Norvide has such a, how do you say, has such a nice voice like uh, and that's also one of the records more uh, prominent features is that you can actually hear him very well like he's on the center of it all and um, it sounds either like he's kind of like uh, s uh, screaming it out like in, in an arena or uh, or yeah and it, it all sounds like very how do you say slogan like there's like for example one line that's about uh, HBO or using uh, Axe body spray, and I actually found found that those uh, lyrics kind of funny. But then when you see it, when they're paired up with the, these beautiful sounds, you you kind of understand like why. And then there's also like a song about toxicity and you know about being with toxic people and you know just not caring about them. Or, or that's what I. Uh, that's what I inter interpret the lyrics to be like and uh, that's what I really like about uh, Lust for Youth as well is that they sound just very, how do you say, very melodramatic and uh, and sincere all at once because sometimes melo melodramatic um, lyrics can always seem, seem a bit too much but here you see that, like they have like a substance to, to themselves and there's even like a song in, that's called Imola that's actually sung in, I mean, in Romanian. And that's interesting because maybe it mirrors like another song in their, um, in their album International, um, which has a song that's called Lungo Mare, which has, uh, I mean, which has its lyrics sung in, Ital in, in Italian. And I find that really interesting. So yeah, anyways, what do I give this album? Well... I give it a 9 out of 10. It is a great album and it shows actually like the continued evolution of this band. It's crazy to hear like how they first started like the the solo project to the full blown band. Like the trajectory is amazing. I mean, you got to listen to like the murky first songs in order to I mean, appreciate the newer, more sleek, more danceable, more singable uh, songs. And I just really, really love it. it. It feels effortlessly Scandinavian, but also very timeless and gothic and icy. And I just love it so much. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching uh, this album review and if this is your first time uh, watching me then please like and subscribe if you want to you know just uh, get along for the ride uh, i i'd really appreciate it and as always i'm going to review new albums every wednesday and classic albums um every saturdays saturday sorry <laughs> so yeah uh, oh and as always i'm going to put the artist links down below um, Lust for Youth are available everywhere Spotify, iTunes, you name it so be sure to check them out and you can also buy their physical uh, versions as well so yeah, be sure to support them and um, yeah, that's it for me um, enjoy music, enjoy life people we see us, hello